Hey guys, it's Coach Darian here, and I have Piper and Sparrow. They're going to be my little helpers today. Sparrow is a level four, and this is a brand new level seven, so they're gonna be a good demonstration of different levels and stuff like that, so we're gonna get started. So these are the girls' initial handstands. I just had them do these before we even started any of the drills or anything like that today, just to give you a starting point. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our stretch position, so Right now, Sparrow has a pretty big arch in her back, so I want her to think about pushing her spine into the ground, but without lifting her feet. There she goes. I want her elbows to be tight. Much better. Let's see here. Good. Piper does a pretty good job at tucking her handstands in. I also want to feel the bottom. Yep, see how that toe just instantly pointed right there? Just for me squeezing that Achilles. So. This position is gonna create a much stronger handstand, just keeping their belly button in and tucking their tail under. Okay, so next drill, they're gonna start in a tuck position, hugging their knees. And you can just see their backs are flat, their spines are against the ground, everything's good. They're gonna immediately pop to a pike right here, squeezing their knees. And then they're gonna slowly lower as soft as they can go, but really being intentional with that spine pressing down and keeping that core engaged the whole way down. So they're gonna do it one more time. So tuck, hug their knees, and then they're gonna pop. Good, and then lower, super intentional, using that core till their feet hit the floor. Good, perfect. Now her butt is all the way over her head. Her toes should be nice and pointed in this position. Her elbows should be pressing backwards, and I honestly want her shoulders to even be, there you go and just open through those shoulders, pushing those armpits into the blue. So she's gonna do the same variation, but in a pike. So fingertips as close as you can to the wall. Then she's gonna walk her booty to where it's flat. And then she's just shrugging her shoulders and staying in this position, pushing those armpits and just showing that nice solid line right there. Okay, so fingertips in, her back's flat against the wall. She's gonna slowly start just lifting a foot over. I don't want her to go vertical quite yet. I just want her to get used to lifting that foot up. And then the next step will be going vertical. She's gonna always make sure her booty's touching first. Then she's gonna allow herself to want, well, don't kick the wall so hard. Sorry. Okay, and she's just gonna hold it right here. I'm gonna make sure still squeezing that Achilles. Just hold it, knees tight, push that knee. So now she's in that straight hollow handstand and she's getting used to what that line should feel like. And then she's gonna start switching, hold it, show that Achilles tight, yep, see that toe, you, and switch, and Achilles, good knee, and switch, Achilles. All right, this is another drill I like. She's gonna press her ribs into the board to lift her feet off of the wall. So even her shoulders are a little bit out. There you go, much better line. I'm gonna make sure those Achilles and knees are tight. Her elbows are a little bit bent. There we go, fix it up and push your shoulders more, Sparrow. Ribs in, hollow. Squeeze your tush. And relax. Piper's probably my most hollow handstand naturally throughout the day. Yeah, you can see her back has just a naturally really, really flat shape. She drills it every single day though. It always looks the same. Yep, perfect. <laughs> that drill just really makes them feel their body weight over their center and has to use their fingertips to grip it in. And like I said, it gives them just like a point to, of reference to push their chest into to lift their heels over their heads. When I spot, I have one hand on their shoulders and one kind of on their stomach or hips area, pushing their shoulders open, almost recreating what we did on that springboard over there, but with my hands. So she's gonna go in. I'm gonna put pressure on her shoulders. She's having to squeeze her belly and her toes. And then she's gonna split, chest up, and salute. Same thing, pushing on her shoulders. She's gonna squeeze her booty a little bit more. We're going in to our handstands. My girls struggle with this a lot. I saw it in their first handstand, especially you. When she started her handstand, her, her arms are right here. So we really want to make sure we're in a straight line. I always tell my kids, if there's a wall behind you, your hand should be against that wall. So right now, Sparrow's ribs, yes, go flat-footed. And chin up, lock your elbows, and tuck your tail under in the bottom. No, under. There you go. Chin. 
There you go, Piper's got a good lift, a good tail tuck. Okay, now all I want them to do is put their favorite foot in front and point their toe. We still want that back to be flat, chin to be a little bit lifted. Now all I want them to do is lift and touch, lift and touch. Getting used to keeping those fingertips across the wall. A lot of times you'll see when a girl lifts, she'll initiate that lean, but we want them to show that vertical before they do it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is they're gonna just initiate that lunge. They're gonna show the stretch, fingers against the wall. They're gonna lift, still showing fingertips against the wall, watching that bottom leg. I saw Sparrow's bend. Then she's gonna lean and point. Ah, Piper missed it. So even them, they're going a little bit lower than I want them to go. So you listen, you listen. That toe has to flick and find the wall. So I'm not going any farther than right here with my shoulders, okay? And okay. better, but watch your bottom leg straight. So oh. you have to initiate the lunge and pop. You're too far, Sparrow. There you go. So Piper's found that line now. Let's see if Sparrow can find it. So stand against the wall. What are you doing? Start over. Okay, are you on strike? Is your bottom leg tight? Is your toe pointed? Now lift it and lunge. Point your toes to the purple. Better, but why's your bottom leg tight? Bend. I mean straight. So that should be in a lunge, right? So lift and lunge and point. There they go. So that took them a little bit of time to find. Okay, this is another drill I really, really like. I do my twos, threes, four, fives, optionals. Everyone does this drill. Okay, so she's gonna lift the band above her head. She's gonna bring her ribs in and tuck her tail under while squeezing her knees. Now I want her to go ahead and put her favorite foot in front. Still keeping that ribs, maybe a little bit shoulders. I'm gonna pop her ponytail up. Now she's gonna lift and drop her foot. Now I see her bottom leg bending. I don't know if she feels her bottom leg bending. I'm gonna pop those ribs back in. Better. And good, let's move on to her sister. Okay, same thing. See, she had to pull those ribs in, put the, put the bands on top of her, favorite foot in front, chin up a little bit. There we go, there. That just lengthened that line so, so much. All right, now just lift and point down, point up, point down, point up, hold it. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna measure out where I want their handstands to be originating from. So she's gonna lay down and I'm gonna draw at where her toes are and then we're gonna work on our lunge entry. Okay, so stand up. She's gonna stretch tall. She's going to lunge long. Her hands are gonna find the blue. So even there, she forgot to keep that leg bent. So we're gonna do it one more time. Stretching her hip and long hold. Beautiful, she has to establish that control. All right, this is a new drill we just added recently into our, <laughs> into our program. So she's gonna get in a straight back-legged lunge. Her chest is gonna be on her knee. I want this knee to be tight. And then she's going to arch. Eyes are gonna go up, maybe a little bit more. There we go. And then she's gonna go back to our knee. This really, really, really emphasizes their balance and Again, it accentuates that length that we're trying to achieve in our handstands. Stretch tall, enter your lunge, find that hold. She doesn't even need the springboard. She is that good. <laughs> okay, next section we're gonna go into is conditioning the handstand. So she's showing a nice round position. All she's gonna do is walk into a pike stretch and then walk right back out. After 20, 30 of these, their shoulders are really, really gonna be burning. All right, do like two more. Just popping it in. And it's also a really, really good hamstring stretch. You'd be surprised how many of my kids struggle with just hunching their toes because they don't stretch their hamstrings properly. So this is a good active way to do that. Okay, so next one we're gonna go into is just some lunge handstands. We have these in their warm up. They do have to do right and left, but we're just gonna work on their dominant leg right now. I'm gonna make sure her ribs are in, her tail is tucked. So see how her, oh, now she's sucking in her belly. I don't want her to do that. Yeah, so right there is where I want her. Her hips are square. All she's gonna do is gonna stretch as long as she can. Handstand, there, split. And then she's gonna go right back to that lunge. And then, like I said earlier, I'm the whole time spotting through with her shoulders. That one was a little bit out of control. Do one more. Push, 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 split, and lunge. And just keeping that line straight the whole time. Good. Anytime you have a kid who doesn't keep their eyes by the ears, 
their wristbands. Glue the wristbands to their ears. It is a lifesaver. All right, Piper's gonna be showing us some shoulder shrugs. So she's gonna get into an L. Her butt is over her hands. All she's gonna do is relax her shoulder and then push them back up. That shoulder girdle is so, so, so important in tumbling, vault, casting. It's just a key, key, key element to have. All right, so these are gonna be some shoulder planches that we work on. So she's gonna go at, <laughs> she's, she's gonna go out with flat hips. And then she's gonna pop her shoulders right back in, out with flat hips, pop, out with flat hips, pop. This is someone who does actively do cast handstands every day, and you'll be able to see that difference. And pop. there's just a lot of speed and power behind that pop in her shoulders, which is what we're working towards with the little ones. All right, another one of my favorites are wheelbarrow walks, but they're not gonna shimmy their booties while doing it. Ready, go. This is gonna make her engage those shoulders and engage that core to not twist. There you go. Piper's doing a really, really good job at keeping that core tight. Perfect. In and go. Nice. Much better. Lift, lunge, pop, split, and salute. All right, we are done with today's video. I think they're a little bit tired. Their shoulders are probably burning just a little bit. But as you can see, their handstands already look 10 times better and hopefully they'll apply all that they learned into practice, right? Yep, yep. All right, see you later.